most of us have not been trained to communicate who we actually are. You've been trained to go after the deal, close the deal, right? So if you can communicate who you actually are with someone, number one, it feels natural to you. Like it, it feels awkward to try to force somebody into something they don't want to do. Like that, that's never a good idea. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. The number one reason why somebody chooses a real estate agent is, is because they like you. Like likability is number one. And I think whenever you, you're trained to go after the appointment or the deal or the closing or to handle an objection, I think it's sending the wrong message to the prospect of you're just another realtor that wants to do a deal. And you can find those on every corner, right? But if you if you approach it in a and an angle of how can I help you? Not you want to buy or sell, but what can I do to help you today? And you're not trying to actually pressure them into doing anything. You're just trying to get in there to get a conversation going to see if there are is the possibility of a working relationship, right? I just think that that if you really take a look at the, the mainstream training, it, it kind of sends the wrong message. So I want to go back to lining up who you are with how you communicate. I'm sure. I'm looking around the room and I, I'm sure, like I'm looking in all you guys' eyes and I'm sure all of you guys are really good people, that you mean well, that you care about your clients, that you really truly want to help them. But most of us have not been trained to communicate who we actually are. You haven't been trained to actually communicate that, like who you are as someone who genuinely cares. You've been trained to go after the deal, close the deal, right? So if you can communicate who you actually are with someone, number one, it feels natural to you. Like it, it feels awkward to try to force somebody into something they don't want to do, right? Like that, that's never a good idea. But the thing is guys, is when you're talking to people, if you make a hundred calls or if you knock on a hundred doors or whatever, however you get in front of people, um, the thing is, is they're not going to do what they're not, they don't want to do. You know, that's just the bottom line. But you're talking to them anyway, right? Most agents, when they when they go through their list, they just want to see who wants to do a deal today. That's all they're looking for. Who wants to do a deal today? <laughs> to me, I think maybe less than 1% of people that you talk to the first time you talk to them want to do a deal right then. But based on your personality and if you line up who you are with how you communicate, I believe that maybe 20% of people you talk to actually like you enough to do a deal, they're just not ready yet, right? So you're talking to them anyway, why not establish a relationship with these people, right? And so most agents live off the less than 1% of people that want to do a deal right now and they disregard everybody else. But if you have this mindset that, wait, if I come to them with, from a place of, you know, helping and I can actually create comfortability and likability and 20%, not 1%, but 20% of people like me enough to do a deal and I can follow up with them every week by email and they call me when they get ready, that's where all the money's at. That's where all the money is. That's how you get to 100 deals a year.